Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Haglund's deformity. Introduction. Haglund's deformity is a bone enlargement that affects the foot. The condition happens at the back of the heel bone and is most often caused by improper footwear. In most cases, pain caused by Haglund's deformity goes away within a few weeks with proper treatment. Rarely, surgery is needed. This program explains Haglund's deformity. It discusses the causes and symptoms of the condition, as well as its treatment options. Anatomy of the foot The feet consist of many bones, joints, and soft, flexible tissues. The bones and joints of the foot help absorb pressure from the body's weight. Joints act as hinges. They separate bones. Joints, along with muscles, let the foot and toes move. Joints are covered by small pouches filled with fluid called bursa. Bursa cushion the bones, tendons, and muscles around the joints. The foot has five toes. Each toe, except for the big one, is made of three bones, or phalanges. The big toe only has two bones. Ligaments surround each joint and hold the bones together. The Achilles tendon connects your calf muscles to your heel bone. Haglund's deformity. In Haglund's deformity, the bone in the heel that attaches to the Achilles tendon gets bigger. This can make the back of the heel hurt. Haglund's deformity is often called pump bump. It gets this name because the hard back of high-heeled shoes rub against the enlarged heel bone and irritate it. Other kinds of footwear with a hard back can also irritate the heel. Haglund's deformity is usually the result of bursitis. Bursitis happens when bursa in the heel become irritated by pressure. Heredity may also play a role in causing Haglund's deformity. Genetic problems make some people more likely to develop the condition. These conditions include high arches, feet that roll outward when walking, a tight Achilles tendon. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Symptoms. Haglund's deformity can happen to one or both feet. People with Haglund's deformity may notice a bump on the back of the heel. The area may also become red, swollen, and painful. Heel pain doesn't usually mean that you have a serious medical problem, but it can make it harder to walk around, exercise, and do everyday activities. If you have the symptoms of Haglund's deformity, contact your healthcare provider. Only your healthcare provider can tell what is causing your symptoms. Diagnosis. Your healthcare provider will ask you questions about your symptoms as well as your personal and family medical history. He or she may examine your foot and take x-rays. To diagnose the cause of your heel pain, your healthcare provider will ask you how long you have had heel pain, what the pain feels like, when and where the pain happens. Treatment your healthcare provider may recommend wearing soft backed or backless shoes to reduce the pressure on the heel bone. In most cases, the pain caused by Haglund's deformity goes away within a few weeks, but symptoms may flare up in the future. Oral non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs, may be recommended. These can reduce pain, redness, and swelling. Placing an ice pack wrapped in a towel on the heel can also reduce swelling. Ice the heel for 20 minutes at a time and then remove the ice for 40 minutes. Patients can also try physical therapy. 
Talk to your healthcare provider to learn more about stretching exercises for heel injuries and disorders. Patients with high arches can place a special pad or lift in their shoes when they walk. A cast or splint may also help the foot stay in the right position. These treatments can help reduce pain and swelling, but the bump usually does not go away. Patients who do not improve with non-surgical treatments may need surgery. If you have surgery, you will probably go through a rehabilitation program. This includes physical therapy. Physical therapy involves doing exercises that help strengthen your Achilles tendon and legs. It may take four to six months before you can resume all of your usual activities. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary In Haglund's deformity, the bone in the heel that attaches to the Achilles tendon gets bigger. This can make the back of the heel hurt. Haglund's deformity is often called pump bump. It gets this name because the hard back of high-heeled shoes rub against the enlarged heel bone and irritate it. People with Haglund's deformity may notice a bump on the back of the heel. The area may also become red, swollen, and painful. Your healthcare provider may recommend wearing soft-backed or backless shoes to reduce the pressure on the heel bone. In most cases, the pain caused by Haglund's deformity goes away within a few weeks, but symptoms may flare up in the future. Other treatment options include ice packs, medications, physical therapy, shoe inserts, splints, or casts. These treatments can help reduce pain and swelling, but the bump usually does not go away. Patients who do not improve with non-surgical treatments may need surgery. If you have surgery, you will probably go through a rehabilitation program. It may take four to six months before you can resume all of your usual activities. Thank you for using Explain.